Okay. See here, guys. I started a new Android Studio project. That is what SQLite database demo app. So here uh, I'll go with you know like uh, I'm going to store the applications here. Indeed, right? A cat lit. Not too thirsty. Right. Copy this. Now into paste here. Right. So next button. So API will then that's the next button. Empty activity. And what here guys? Main activity like that. See guys, I'm going to create one a simple I want to take a simple project like this. So we'll take one student form. So what is the student form? Student number, student name, student address, student mobile number. So you have to insert the student record in your database. You have to update the student record. You have to retrieve the student record. You have to delete the student record. We have to perform the all the operations by using we can take one form. Okay, guys. Uh, let me know explain. It. Okay. Can you see here, ma'am? And first, I go with uh, linear layout. That is what uh, height is what. Match parent. This one, match parent, orientation is what, vertical. Okay. Uh, so here, uh, what I'm going, what I'm going to do is, uh, see here, I selected the event until and like this. See here, mom. I'm going to take uh, five buttons. The first one is insert the student record, and second one is update the student record and third one is delete the student record and fourth one is retrieve the student record by student number and fifth one is retrieve all the student records in the list okay clear guys we are going to perform all the operations work here understand guys hello yes sir okay see here guys I'm going to create the buttons over here. First, I create what ma? ID. At that press ID. TV insert. Okay. Height is what? Wrap content. Next, width is what? Match parent. Margin is what? 25 dp. Padding is what? Sure dp. And text is what ma? Insert. Student record. Insert student record. Uh, background is what Ash zero zero eight BB eight eight. Okay. And what gravity is what more center. Text color is what black color. Text style is what bold. Text size is what twenty two SP. Okay. Fine. 
likewise now we have we'll create one more button called what more key update tv update okay it is what update student record update student record okay i'll go with this you know like uh, 15 dpm and next one is what ma delete the student record Let's see it is a tv delete delete student record so you can convert this on the what more 15 dp okay next last one is what retrieve right that is what tv retrieve 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 student record the last one is what more view all records tv view random of view view students records view student records clear guys so the five buttons we have got created over here see Find over to smart chain. Okay, see here. We have to create what functionality, right? That is what, ma. Text view, right? Hmm. TV insert. Next TV update. Next TV delete. Next TV retrieve. And next TV. view so five buttons right we have to initialize this right see how to initialize tv insert equal to find view by id or dot id dot tv insert or enter cast to text view update delete retrieve view tv view it is what tv retrieve it is our tv delete it is our tv update okay here tv update tv delete tv retrieve tv view okay And finally, what we are going to click right? TV insert dot set on click is our of what? This. It is what TV update. TV delete. TV retrieve. TV. Okay. So we have to write what? All tender makes my activity more from on click method. Let us write v dot get id. Okay. If case or dot id dot tv insert. Let us perform some action. If tv insert is what update right? It is what delete. It is what retrieve. It is what view okay fine if i click on the intent here see my i'll call the button like this intent intent i if i is equal to new intent of uh where your mark when your mark main activity dot this where you have to go insert activity dot class and what start activity of what mark I. Likewise, 
that is what ev update activity update activity and it is ev delete activity and this is retrieve activity and this is what last one is what more view all view view student activity view student activity okay fine so we need to create a class or not see I create the class this class much you should work more extends activity on create set content view or dot layout dot insert layout create the layout resource file okay next update activity extends activity on create set content view or dot or dot layout dot update layout create resource files next is what layout dot is what now delete layout your layout is one second guys the last one is what now Retrieve right. Extends what? Activity on create set content view or dot layout dot retrieve layout. Each and every one can get get the things or not. Anyone having a doubt? Please raise your raise your things. I will get back to you. Okay. If anyone having a doubt. We do here more. We have to write what uh, go for the manifest file and add all the activities here. It is what insert activity. Next update activity. Next delete activity. Next retrieve activity. Next new student activity. Okay. So in the meanwhile, you have to open your Jenny motion. Up to any queries, guys? I think so. A common for the things over there, right? Okay. Uh, see, guys, when we click on the main, the go for main activity, when you click on the insert button, you have to navigate to what page? Insert activity page. So, in the insert activity page, okay, we have an insert layout or not? You need to create this layout, all right? See how? See, guys, I'll take edit text over here. Edit text. ID. ID. At that press ID. It is S number. The student number. It is what? Wrap content. 
मिर्तीज वर्ड मैच पेरेंट मार्जिन लेफ्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव डीपी मार्जिन टॉप ट्वेंटी फाइव डीपी मार्जिन राइट ट्वेंटी फाइव डीपी अपने वर्ड में हिंट है एंटर स्टूडेंट नंबर एंटर स्टूडेंट नंबर इनपुट टाइप इस वर्ड में नंबर टाइप ओके So after the same thing for what you can go with this. Et student name. Enter student name. It is what text person name. And the next one is what enter student address. Enter student address. It is what more text postal address. Next what mobile number right? It is student phone. Enter student mobile number. It is what phone. Okay. I need to create how many buttons? Two buttons in a linear layout, right? Horizontal. Okay. Height is what wrap contents, width is what match parent, orientation is what more horizontal. Okay, so here what margin left is what twenty five dp, margin right is what twenty five dp, margin top is what twenty five dp. Need to create what how many buttons more? Two buttons right. See, ID at the right ID TV insert. Height is what? Wrap contents. Width is what? Zero dp. Weight is what more? Zero point five. Next, text is what? Insert. Okay. Gravity is what? Center. Background is what? Pass zero zero dd eight eight. And we are going padding is what more ten dp. Okay. And same thing for we are apply what more TV cancel. Okay. And this part cancel. We need a space in between these two, right? See, can take what more view type. A height is what one dp. Width is what zero dp. Width is what zero point zero one. Like this. So we we need what a space in between these two also. So we increase the text size also more. Text size is. So on DSP, text color is Android color, black, and text style is what bold. I can apply this one to here also. We what happen now? Like we are showing you. Okay, fine. <laughs> See, first we have to insert the records, then we can go for the things over there, right? Ah, uh, so coming to the functional part now. What do here? Edit text. Et s number. Et s name. Et s address. Et s phone. Okay, and we have what? Text view right. Tv insert. Tv cancel. We have to initialize this right. TV s number equal to find view by ID or dot ID dot ET s number. S name ET 
S address, S phone, S phone, S address, S name, S number. Finally, what TV? Insert equal to find me by ID or dot ID dot ET. Sorry, TV insert. It is what one? TV cancel. It is what one? TV cancel. You are apply what? On click right. For this. Next for TV cancel. Like this. Now what switch? We dot get id so case or dot id dot tv insert break this case or dot id dot tv cancel break this if you click on the cancel what happened ets number dot get text dot clear et s name dot get text dot clear et S address dot get text dot clear ET S phone dot get text dot clear next what share right A string S number equal to ETS number dot get text dot to string next string S name equal to ET S name dot get text dot to string next string s address equal to ed s address dot get text dot to string next string s phone equal to ed s phone dot get text dot Question. Okay. Understand, guys? Any doubts up to now? No, sir. No. Okay. So, next what we do is uh, whatever the value you entered from the uh, insert button, I'm going to save these values to my database, right? So, in Android, we need to create a one database class. See. So I am going to create one new package here. The package name is database. Okay. And in this one I am going to create a new class called DB helper. What is that? Database helper class. Simo. In a, especially in Android. So when you are going to working with SQLite database, mainly we are going to work with two classes. One is SQLite open helper class and second one is SQLite database class. One is SQLite open helper class and second one is SQLite database class. See what is SQLite open helper class and what is the purpose? See. SQLite Open Helper is a class to communicate with your activity and what database. So in SQLite Open Helper class, mainly we have uh, two methods and we have one constructor. So like this, extends or the class for SQLite Open Helper class, second one. We have a methods, right, and unimplemented methods. We have to implement what? Two methods, what and what, on create and what, on upgrade. There are two methods you are going to import. And we need to create one constructor, create constructor, right? We have to create one constructor also. Okay, now what is the purpose of constructor? The purpose of constructor is what? To create the object for that. 
so once you create the object for the existing class by using of this class object we are going to call all the methods okay sima so see here we have like this so db helper context and here what context mark here what name what is the name mark database name mark so i am writing a database name called student db so mark see factory mark so by default we can pass the factory as null so what is factory and the entity we discuss later but in the, in up to now we can we will concentrate on what when we will see as a factory we can pass what mark null you are going to pass and what is the version we can pass the version 1 tomorrow it may be one version 2 or 3 like that okay like this you need to create one constructor and what is where in what if what we are going to implement in on create method schema if we are going to create any table for your database the table creation logic we can write in on inside the on create method okay schema so what is sql database sql database is a class to perform the sql operations like insertion create update delete okay so all the operations like right? so when you are going to operate the sql uh, sql operations like insertion update deletion the entire operations will be using by using a class called what sql database class see guys in sql database class we have one method called execute sql execute sql execute sql is a method to execute your sql commands okay fine see guys uh, what is the command for creating the table guys in uh, sql insert into no 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 creating create a table. table create table yeah. create table table name create table table name and what uh, column name data type column, column name data data type, right? data type and all the other notes yeah. yeah that's right see like this create table table name what is the table name student student okay and okay the first column is what mark student number it is what integer data is what mark integer i am applying the primary key for that applying what mark primary key so what is the what is the purpose of primary key mark duplicates not allowed duplicates will not be allowed for that okay and next is what mark s name so there is no uh, for uh, for text for string there is a data type call text mark in sql we have a data type call what text text what student address we have a data type call what text and next is what uh, student address and what the last one is what student form right and it is what uh, student uh, address and it is what student name and it is what student number student number student name student address student phone so there is again it is what text okay how many things now 1 2 3 4 only four of there yeah, are only four okay so like this you are going to create the table in sql mark okay Understand, guys? Create table table name. Okay, you are going to pass what? Table column name, data type. Next, uh, it is what here? Uh, column name, data type. Sir, database we are. SQL database. SQL, sir. SQL SQL database. Column name. We yeah, are see. We have a separate database called as SQL database. There we can see the things over there. Okay. Like this, you are going to create your table. Amma, create table table name, student number, student name, student address, and what form. Okay. So this is our what mark. This is the logic for what creation of the logic. Okay. And the entire logic you can write in where mark on create method only. And what about on upgrade? See, on upgrade is a method to modify. any 
um, to modify your table like you know like if you are going to change your uh, table name or if you are going to change your column name or you are going to delete the column name so if you are going to do any modifications on your table on that time you are going to write the entire modification logic on your table you can write in there on upgrade method okay that is what so right now i don't want to do anything stuff for that i i don't want to do anything uh, um, do modification on that so that's why i'm going to put mp as one word on upgrade method as of now okay understand now clear any doubts yes sir it's clear i need everyone to respond yes sir clear sir i need everyone response at least two chart uh, because of you know in our class we have seven members uh, six members are there but i need only two member response and what about rest of four yes sir clear okay next so we need to insert right sima for insertion for insertion the records we have a met i'll take a method like this like this public in that curvature long okay uh, i'll take a method like this insert student insert insert student record records i'll take my own method amma okay in this method i'm going to pass in the parameters like this string yes number string yes name string yes address yes name yes number yes yes address and what string s phone okay next so insertion is a what operation ma write operation or read operation write operation write right. operation right so one more thing ma in a, in the update method we have a parameter called what sql database on update method we have parameter called what sql database but insert should record doesn't have what parameter called what sql database so what i'm going to do is i declare globally ma like this sql database db i initialize this db equal like this db equal to this dot get writable database okay if you are going to read the data you can write what this dot get readable database okay fine if you are going to insert your record in your database dynamically on the time in our android we have a class called content values like this what is what content values cv equal to new content values like this in content values class we have a object called put we have a method called what put comma key comma value like this okay same thing four items i am going to pass now uh, what is the value ma so the parameter name what is the parameter name s number here what s name here what s address here what s phone so these are all the key values but what the values but what about key in in android sql database okay while you working with the insertion the records on the time whatever the key uh, you don't want to pass key as your wish you are going to pass the key as your table column name as a key a table column name as a key you are going to pass like this and sir guys sir one query is here yeah so on by, the, by using this column main i am going to store my data in this column the the value will be stored in this column the value this value will be stored like this so in the place of key we are going to pass your table column names 
the value is what whatever the value will you will you will get from the edit text that that is these are these are the values i will call this method in my activity how i am going to call see one second please wait i will call this method in my activity how i will see the uh, see later okay and finally what more in sql database class we have a method called what insert method in this method we are going to pass what table name null null column hat value and what content values object okay what is table name ma student student table you can pass here student table i initialize into id wrong id equal to i return this id over here okay if see ma when you are going to insert your record in your database the database will give you one id so if you get the id as positive value so, so we can confirm that your record was successfully inserted if the if the id will come minus 1 okay your record will not be inserted like that we have to confirm okay see ma so i am going to call this method in where here right so once i once i call this this class method to here means i am going to create the object of this class see how db helper db helper equal to null i initialize this one here now to initialize db helper equal to this is initialization mark new db helper of cannot get application context so once you initialize this we can call the method here db helper dot what is the method mark insert student records ah uh, what is this this number next yes name ah uh, next yes address next s yes, phone number one second you will you find it in this okay guys and i'll get what id what is id ma long id equal to and then like this if id not equal to minus 1 then what happen we'll confirm that your record will be successfully inserted right see i'll go like this intent id equal to new intent of get application context okay next what i'll go for what main activity dot class and start activity for what more i suppose if not means what if you get the minus one id what happen you put toast toast dot make text get application context uh what is that uh record not inserted record not inserted toast dot run shop dot okay so can i run the application and see the output for this
okay now see here when i am going to click on my insert student record what happen you will get this form or not see if i click on the student number as 1001 student name as money student address as hyderabad student mobile number as 9959297904 if i click on the insert button what happen you have to navigate to main activity once you get this page we can you can confirm that your record will be inserted successfully right see like this when what happen you navigate to main page right so you confirm that your your uh, data will be saved clear or any doubts Hello. Any query, no, guys? Sir. No, sir. No. Okay. So you you need to confirm, right? So whether uh, whether the, this record is uh, really saved in your database or not, right? So further, what I'm going to do is when I'm going to click on the retrieve button. I entered a user number as one zero zero one. When I click on the data, what happen? Your data will be displayed on your text view. How we can? So we can we we see that one. Okay. Shima. Uh, first, you have to go for what main activity? What is that? Retrieve, right? Retrieve. The retrieve activity. Okay, so go to uh, retrieve XML. It is what my here. I'll take what edit text for what. Already we have right. Student number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already we have in the reserve. I mean, uh, in the just we can uh, copy and uh, we have to change this asset. Oh, I mean, sir. Hmm. Copy this. Paste here. Okay, we can change this one as what ma? Sorry, this is edit text only. This is edit text only. So except this, we can change this one to what? Text, text view. Text view. Okay, it is what ma? TV, yes name, and we don't need hint ma. In the place of in what to do, so we don't need input type also. It is what text. Yes, name. And we can apply what ma? Padding. Padding is what? Twelve DP. Okay. And same thing for what ma? Is also. It is what text view. It is what TV. And we don't need hint, and we don't need you know like. Uh, Input type is what adding shell DP and what text is what ma? S address. Okay, and the same thing here. What you know? It is what text view. It is what TV is form. Okay, we don't need uh, this two. In the place of here, what padding, short DP, text is what ma? Form. Okay. This is what we have. So we can change this one into what uh, we can apply what padding, short DP. Okay, ma? See, uh, I'll go the retrieve activity here. What do here ma? We can take what? Uh, so sorry, sorry. Uh, we have to change this one into what? TV. Retrieve. TV. Retrieve. Text. All caps. True. And what you cancel. Okay. See here. I uh, I'll go for the function department. Uh, it is what ma? Edit text right. Et. S number. 
Okay. Next is what? X to view, right? X to view. It is what, ma? PV. Yes, name. Next, PV. Yes, address. Next, PV. Yes, phone. Next, PV. Next, TV. Cancel. Okay. Next is what? So, you have to initialize this, right? ET test number equal to find me by ID dot dot ID dot ET test number. This one. Next is what TV S yes, address equal to find me by ID that is what R dot ID dot TV S yes, address. So one two so this that is what now yes, name yes phone. Cancel. Retrieve. First check out whether it is correct or not. See uh, after that what now? We have to take what on click right. TV retrieve dot set on click listener of what this next TV cancel dot set on click listener of what this. Okay, we need to go with makes activity and what on click method. So you have to go with what switch V dot get ID. Okay, case or uh, dot id dot it is what uh, you know uh, tv retrieve. Okay, break this tv cancel right cancel et s number dot get text dot clear. Next, what here is what string right string s number right equal to ETS number dot get text dot two string. Okay, see ma, I, I will I call a method like this get data from database. I'm going to create a method like this. In this method, I'm going to pass what S number. Based on S number, I'm going to get all the values, right? See, I create a method here ma, like this. Okay, see, when you are going to get the data from database, okay. See, uh, we are in our Android. We are going to use a class called cursor class. What class, ma? Cursor class. And one more thing, ma. So, uh, which of uh, I mean, uh, retrieve operation is for read or write? Read operation, right? Read. Read, read operation. So, what I'm going to do is see. First, I'm going to create the db helper class object here, like db helper, db helper equal to null, and I create what? SQLite database also. SQLite database db equal to null. So I'm going to initialize this db helper db helper equal to new db helper of web application context. So what I'm going to do here, see in this method, what I'm going to do here is db equal to db helper dot get readable database. Okay, initialize into database. So in uh, we have a class called what no? cursor class cursor cursor equal to db dot we have a method called what raw query what is that no raw query ah uh, see mom 
on which basis you are going to get things best student number right so we have a command like this select star from student select star from student where where what is the table name column name yes, here yes student number. student yes, number, number right so copy the student number okay student number select star from student where student number equal to close and what your student number plus n with single course and the cursor for the body for what null okay and another condition here if cursor dot move to first if cursor dot move to first inside this let the condition do well while cursor dot move to next I'm going to get all the things over here. See, mom. How I'm going to get like this? I'm going to get a name, address, phone number, right? These three things. How I'm going to get? See, cursor dot get string of cursor dot get column index of. You can pass the column name here. Likewise, these two things. So, what is the column column number, mom? S name, right? Yes name. Here what? String. Yes name equal to. Ah uh, next what? Yes. Address. Address. Phone. Phone. We have to set this is a little bit. TV yes name dot set text of yes name. Next TV s address dot set text of yes address. TV s phone dot set text of s phone. Finally, the data is set over there. So I can run the application. See the output demo. See here, ma. So retrieve when you click on the retrieve button, what happen? It will it will ask me what ma? Student number, right? What is the student number? One zero zero one. When I click on the retrieve button, what happen? Your data will be fetched over here, right? See, Mani Hyderabad double nine like this. If I entered new record like one zero zero two, the enter name is. Student name is Sachin. Student address is Arjun Mumbai. Sir, please try it with same ID, sir. Ah, that's what. Yeah, let me let me explain. So your yeah, number is something something I give a number. You will go the uh, same number. If you click on the accept button, what happen? Record not inserted. Okay. If you go to insert this, record inserted. I will check out that. Simple one zero zero two retrieve same search in Mumbai the number will be displayed over there. Clear guys? Sir, how can we see the database? Yes. Sorry? How can we see the database? Yeah, yeah. See one good question. See, uh, okay. I'll do things. One second. One 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 second, please. If you are going to see your database, okay. Here we have a. Device in the tools we have a device monitor. What is that? Device Android device monitor. So if you are going to open your device Android monitor, what to do is so you are going to open your Android Studio by using a run as 
administrator you have to, you have to open your uh, android studio as run as administrator see like this just right click on this run as administrator one second go ahead Okay, mom. So see, first what we do is we have to download the SQLite browser. What is that? SQLite browser you need to download. So why why we need to download this one means if you are going to see your database records, okay, under that we need what for SQLite browser, right? Just click on this one. So you have to download this one. See, download uh, Windows 64 bit, right? I will download this. Save the file. It will take some time, huh? Okay, no problem. What is that? Sqlite browser. Clear, guys? We have to download that first. Clear, sir. Clear. Okay. Here, you people find you know like uh, one second. See here, you people find you know like uh, Android to go for the tools. Oh, okay, okay, it's loading. Ah, huh? okay, fine. No issue. Uh, one small announcement you know like uh, i'm uh, creating a my facebook page like android trainings for you.com so please like my page guys in facebook okay, okay sir okay sir send us the link sir excuse me sir yeah Sir, can we connect our application with SQL database also, sir? Yeah, 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 we can. Okay, could you please give the example to uh, for the connection string, sir? Uh, see, by using that, by using concept proper, by using the uh, services. Web services, sir. Yeah, web services. Okay. Is there any example, sir, for web services? Because I yeah. get the same question. I will, I will, I will tell you. See one thing. I will tell you the web services concept in uh, web in JSON parsing. There we can work on uh, uh, server database. So another way I will give you things for that. Okay. Okay, sir. And now, sir, here one thing. Uh, you have wrote here do and while. It is necessary yeah. because we we fetch only one record at a time. No, yeah, that is what. So that is your wish. The logic is your wish. We get that from your own logic. Okay. 
so in my case i do this logic but in your case you can perform your own logic no problem okay See here, ma. Go for the tools. Android, Android device monitor. Just click on this. You will open your uh, Android device monitor here. You will get the one window of this. Yeah, it's almost downloaded. So just click on this. You need to install this one, right? See. So click next. I agree. Next install. Okay, see, ma, this is your Android device monitor. Okay, see, you people found your application like com dot. So a genuine version, right? See, ma, just click on this, select this. You people have to find out your uh, one. De see, you have to select File Explorer. In the Explorer, we have find the data. Again, you will find data here. In this data, you find your application name, ma. Like you know, uh, your application name will be like this. Yeah, here, right? Just click on this. You have what database, right? Just click on the click on this. You find what student database, right? You have to pull this uh, this file to. Desktop like SQLite like database db dot SQL. This is what my dot SQL. Save this file in your desktop. Okay. So my here finally what click on what finish button. Once you once you get this finish. Okay. You you will get like you will get the SQLite button like this. Okay. Here we have option called what open right open database. Okay. So go for the desktop. What is your file name, ma? Select all files. What is your file name here? SQLite, right? Just click on this, open this. You will find browse data, right? Is coming or not? Guys, are you are you seeing your my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, this is the way we are going to work on this. Okay. Also, give one example uh, with uh, external database, sir. External database. Yeah, that is what I I will send the two links to you. I will send the links for the examples. So then we can go through that. So if you people doesn't understand that links, so I'll explain later. Okay, it's very easy. No issue. Okay, sir. Sorry. The link is not working. No, no, no. No, no, no. See one thing. I send. I will. I will send. Not I send. I will send the link. Okay. Sir, he he is asking about that link which is sent in chat room, sir. Which link? Oh, my, my site, ah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, not not like that. See, you know, like uh, just you can go with this. Android trainings. It's under construction, sir. Yeah, Android trainings for you. It's a web, it's a page of Facebook page. It is. It is a Facebook page. Just like me, a Facebook page. Okay. 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 Clear this. A clear this. So, uh, can you continue or can you stop here? Our only two parts is pending: delete and view. Yeah, continue, yeah, sir. Continue. 
Yeah, we can we can continue. Yeah, we can continue. Yeah, fine. Thank you. See. Next is what this. We have to go for what? Delete, right? See. Up, we have to go for what? Update first. Update, right? See now. Same thing. Uh, uh, go for the update XML. So what are the XML we have in session is there, right? The same I have to copy here. We have to paste here. Okay. Okay, see here in the place of TV update, right? Update. What is what part? Update. Text all caps true. Okay, but what I'm going to do here is these three things I'm going to delete here. I'm going to paste in the outside of here. First, you enter the you enter the number. If you click on the update, then only I'll display on here. If you no 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 one second this is correct 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 one second so inside this you need to create one text view map create one text view that is what show TV show height is what more wrap content width is what match parent margin left is what 25 Padding is what should be and text is what show. Okay, and the gravity is what no center. Okay, center and what you know, background is and text style is what bold, text color is what black, text size is what computer's. Here it is. See, if I enter one number, if you click on the show button, so you have a display over here. You are going to change your names. You have to click on update. Your values will be updated. Okay. See how. Edit text, right? Edit text. Et. S number. Et. S name. Et. S address. Et. S phone. Finally, what text view right? Text view TV show TV update TV cancel. Okay, we have to check out that ET S number equal to find me by ID order editor ET S number. Like this. 
this name this address is phone this phone address name what TV cancel equal to final by ID or not or not cancel it is what you know like uh, TV show TV update TV update TV show we need to apply what on click right TV cancel TV update I think we will not click button or switch case we will not get ID equal to case or dot ID dot TV update break this next case or dot ID dot TV show break this case or dot ID dot TV cancel break this see so click on the show button right first what I do here string yes number equal to it is what ed s number dot get text dot to string so already we, we have write it we have we didn't write the logic right what is the logic ma the same logic you are going to perform here the same thing right so copy here what is the method ma get data from database that's number we need to create this it is what one et yes name it is what et yes address it is what et s phone right so you need to create the database helper class of this like that sima db helper db helper equal to null next sqlite database db equal to null db helper equal to new db helper of data application context next what same thing db helper db helper equal to same same logic right same logic you have to perform over there okay fine see i'll run the application see the output first the first two part is completed and we can go for the things over there no issue
that we need to be student or So, I click on the update student record. Okay, it's asking you what must student number, right? I get the student number as 1001. Okay, so if I click on the show button, what happened? So, money, either birth, the interest will happen. I change money as money kanta. And the number I change the Hyderabad as Hyderabad as when I entered like this, what happened? So when I click on the update, what happened? Ma? So I entered money counter. So automatically the data will be updated or not. So you need to write this logic for update, right? See how. See, first what you do is you have to go for database class. First you have to check out from the internet. How to update a particular record in SQLite database in Android? Okay, so we'll get the links out there, right? See, first thing you are going to check out that. Okay, in this link, we have a solution. This is what solution is a solution amount. Okay, see here, guys. First, what I'm going to do here is see, I will take a method like this public long update student record. Uh, based on what now you are going to update your record based on what student number, right? Again, see, string. Student number, string, yes name, string, yes address, string, s phone. Okay. Uh, this is what ma? Your perform what operation? Update is also what? Get writable database. Same. Content values. CV equal to new content values. CV dot put string key comma value. We are going to update only three values, right? It is what? S name, yes, address, S phone. So copy this S phone, paste here, this address, paste here. Yes, no. Question. And finally, what ma? So DB dot update of. So here you're asking me what ma table name. What's your table name ma? Student, right? Uh, what is the content values object? CV, right? Next, we are going to pass what? Where class. So here we have conditions here or not? Where class condition. We are going to pass this one. Based on. So based on what ma? Student number, right? Student number. Based on student number. 
So go to the S number, right? So this is a table name, column name, right? So you are going to copy this column name and you are going to paste here. Based on this condition, I'm going to update my record. Okay. So finally, I install into where, mark Long ID equal to what written ID. Clear, guys? I'm going to call this method in where? My update activity. Where is your update activity? Yeah, whether here or not? See, very simple mo. String, string, s number equal to et s number dot get text dot two string. Next string, s name equal to et s name dot get text dot two string. String, s address equal to s address dot get text dot two string string s phone equal to two string s number s name s address like this and you what one db dot update of sorry db dot db helper ma dbl per dot what is this update shouldn't record uh, what is ma s number comma s name comma s address comma s phone yeah to password long id equal to if id not equal to if id not equal to minus one then what happened intent intent i equal to new intent of get application context comma what may i give it out class it is what more no? start activity for right okay else what happened Post dot make text get application context update fail. Get fail. What post dot then short dot show. Okay, run the application and see the output. what you know like uh, I should update right see I entered what 1001 when I click on the show button right I entered the name as what Manikanta I entered the Hyderabad as what change into Tirupati if I click on the update button what happened you need to what update right see yeah, I will update or not? I will check out, right? Retrieve the student record. 1001. Retrieve. What happened? Manikanta Tirupati. Updating or not? Updating or not? Yes, sir. Okay. This is about what more? Uh, updated the record things, right? See. Next. How to delete? Next is what how to delete the record, right?
So we'll go for what? Delete activity, right? Delete activity, and delete layout. Yeah, we need to write what? Only uh, we can take one edit text based on number, right? Sima ID at the ID. At ID ET S number height is what or app contains with this what match parent with this what enter S number input type as what number okay margin left as what 25 dp margin top as what 25 25 dp margin right as what 25 dp like this and we have to create what one button right it is what text view okay id attack plus id tv delete okay height is what wrap contents with is what match parent uh, text is what delete okay and margin left is what 25 dp margin top is what 25 dp margin right is what 25 dp and what padding is what short dp okay so gravity is what center okay and what you know background right dash 00 dt 88 or 77 like this and text size is 22 sp and text color is black 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 color and what text style is what bold okay if i click on the enter right see delete activity right see more edit text right edit text edit text et s number next text view okay tv uh delete okay need to what check out right et s number equal to find v by id or that id dot et s number next tv delete equal to find v by id or dot id dot tv delete so about this tv delete dot set on click listener off of what this alt enter next deal that would be much what on click method so we have to take what only one 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 method is what see like this string s number equal to eps number dot that text dot string right so you need to write what uh, go for the database activity you have to write with logic right see I have to close the update XML. This one. I have to close this one also. I have to close directory also. Like this. See now. I call one more method called what? Public. Delete. Uh, record. Okay. So I delete the record based on what now? Student number, right? Long. Okay. See same thing db equal to this dot get uh, writable right get writable database okay so you need to delete right so we need to delete db dot delete mark db dot what delete so here we have a, a where condition like this right see same logic we can take here but we can do what you don't want the right word content values that's it so based on student number you can delete right the same logic you can perform you can delete this one and we need what long id equal to return id okay we call this delete record into where mark delete activity right see uh, you need to create the object or not for this we need to create what I'm 
dvl per dot delete record based on student number right i slice long id equal to yes id not equal to minus 1 what happened i need to go for what intent i equal to new intent get application context next what what is the class mode main activity dot class and what uh, next is what start back to the phone okay else else what to stop make text the duplication context not deleted to stop then short dot show clear guys only application see the output Simo, so when I click on that delete, when you ask me what mark, you should get a number right, one zero zero one. If you don't delete one, what happen? Once again, you get error. You also got error, Simo. This is. Null point exception. Why? It's not correct. Oh. One second. Okay. This number one. This one, right? Oh shit. It is cap plus number, right? And then by then there are the application. This the calling word one zero zero one. Did automatic data data or not? See ma. If you click on the one zero zero one here, we'll 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 get we we'll, didn't get any record over here. Why? Because of here, you don't have any records. Clear, guys? Clear or not? Is clear or not? Yes, sir. Yeah. Fine. Uh, uh, so this is about you know like uh, So this is about what you know, like how to create that database and that test stuff. So the next is we have one option called view student activity, right? So I already I designed a logic for retrieve the activity. What you you people do is select staff from student. You accept this almost the end logic and test thing stuff. So we can do by your own. Okay. So if anyone having help, I'll help you out. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, I will try. If anyone needs help, I will help you. I will help you. No issue. Okay, fine. So this is about what, ma? Working with SQLite database concepts. Okay. So this is about what uh, you know SQLite database concepts. So from this we complete you know like uh, the all the things over here. 
next the next class now one more thing i am going to planning to take the class on sunday you people are uh, okay with that no sir no no sir okay okay fine so you can plan the next monday only no problem okay take yes. care yeah no problem so take care bye take care good night hello sir yeah, i need your help sir yeah tell me tell me tell me uh, sir can you show that uh, code once more cv let's see which one which one delete or update delete 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 yes sir yeah database code or uh, database code right yeah yes sir database uh, sir can you uh, uh, explain once more this uh, uh, like see, db dot uh, see uh, in the db dot delete method we have a parameters like three parameters one is table name second one is where class and third one is arguments so by default arguments is what null so what is which for where class is what by using student number we are going to get, we are going to delete your record and table name and here we have one pass the things so the rest okay okay thank you sir yeah thank you sir yeah i am not able to select the emulator sir it's giving a message sir yeah uh, which one uh, which one you are using geni motion or normal emulator normal sir uh, can you share your system please sure sir sure yeah the rest of people can leave this thank you bye good night stop your screen after that i can uh, share sir Hello. Yeah, tell me, tell me, share, share your screen, sir, please. Sir, stop your screen. After that, I can see, sir. Okay. Cancel this one. Okay, go for tools, tools, tools. Android, AVD Manager. Delete this two. Delete this two. Like you know, like put the cursor out here. Delete both. both. both one both one okay sir now uh, create virtual device okay so uh, select the nexus 5 select nexus 5 nexus 5 yes, next sir. button next button okay Yeah, click on next. Uh, you can select the uh, second one, match number six X six sixty four. Next button. C C. It yes, asking sir. you asking you your uh, OS BIOS setup. So you have to disable this one. So just you have to check out from your system. It's it's come from your problem. Okay, I'll check out. So AVD name, we have to change your AVD name, like sample tester. Okay.
I'll start this. Okay, sir. No, 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 start chat. See, it asking it asking you your bio setup. See, this will happen by through your uh, OS. How can I change that setting, sir? So see, enable VT in your bio security settings. Refer to documentation for your computer. So this this problem will comes from your computer. Just to check out from your hardware. Hardware okay. also. Okay. I don't know exactly about this uh, bio setup or entire stuff. And so check out from I your hardware. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can try. No I problem. will try with you. Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good night. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. Take care. Bye.